emulsifiers and the preservatives. They're not there for you. They're there for the skincare mm-hmm. company. So in my pharmacy, wow. I was just I was just giving people products that were made with everything. Or the, all the components in the product were there for you, not for me. And so the oh, concept of the new products, I call them the truth because it is the truth. You know, shouldn't be paying for anything you're not using. And when you use these mm-hmm. products, but what it means, Roxanne, is you got to use very little bits, tiny, tiny, okay. tiny, small amounts. So send me an email, ben, ben at ksco.com with your street address, mm-hmm. and I'll send you some samples. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. What was the address again? Ben at what? Ben at K for King, S mm-hmm. for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar. Ben at ksco.com. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Thank Thanks you for, so thank very you, much. And thank you for calling. Have you tried these yet, or is this the first time? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh, mm-hmm. Roxanne, have you used, Roxanne, have you used the products yet? Have I sent you samples before, or no? No, no, okay, no. Good. This would be my first time. But um, I heard so much about you, and I've been listening to the programs that you had with um, Amanda. Oh, okay. And, oh, I'm just fascinated, and I, I'm really looking forward to, to buying this product. Good deal. Thanks for calling, Roxanne. I appreciate it. We'll Thank talk you. to you again. Okay, bye bye. Mary in Michigan, welcome to the bright side. What's up? Hi, Ben. Um, I got a couple questions for you. They shouldn't sure. take too awfully long. Sure. Um, I'm curious. First of all, you were talking about parsley. Yeah. Uh, Hulda Clark uh, recommended a parsley tea for a kidney cleanse. She's a wise woman, Hulda Clark. Is she still alive? I don't think so. Yeah, she wrote, uh, you're talking about the gal who wrote The Cure for All Diseases. And, right, yeah, right. Yeah, she's great. I, I read her books many, many years ago. I'm not a, I don't I buy into everything she's talking about, but certainly there's right. lots of great wisdom in her books. Uh, the Cure for All Diseases was one. What was the other one? Do you remember? Uh, the cure, cure for All Cancers? Cancer and, yeah. um, oh, shoot, what was the other? There were three of them. <laughs> I, I read The Cure for All Diseases many, many years ago, back in the early 90s. Well, and she then, recommended a parsley tea. Okay. Uh, and now, so my question is, wh- yeah, you were talking about heat and the, uh, yeah. the nitrates. Yeah, you don't want to heat. Well, nitrates aren't too affected by heat, but you don't want to heat. I'm sorry, nitrates themselves, if you, bo- if you really put high heat in there, they'll turn into nitrosamines, uh, and that's the cancer-causing stuff. But just heat uh, from a tea, you're not going to really affect your nitrates too much. Just, just if you just heat them from a tea or you slightly steam your veggies, that's not going to affect them too much. Unfortunately, uh, the nitrates and the nitrites and a lot of the phytonutrients aren't going to really come out as effectively in the tea as they would if you add, uh, if you add oil to your veggies. Um, and if, you're gonna make a, if you're going to make a tea, try to put a little bit of oil in there. Uh, maybe coconut oil or something, and then you might want to throw in some lecithin to pull the whole thing together. Is, of course, it won't taste like a tea after all of that stuff is <laughs> added to it, but you'll be able to get much more of the nutritional value out of your veggies, out of your parsley. Uh, but a tea's still good. You can still get some good stuff out of a tea. Certainly vitamin C is com- going to come out, and I wouldn't worry too much about the heat. Just don't boil it or anything. Like uh, Bring it to a boil for a long period of time. Okay, okay. And, and um, so you were talking about the nitrates being in beans? Well, beans, yeah. Beans are okay. actually a good source. There's lots of good sources. Ni- beans, in particular, have these bac- these nitrogen-fixing bacteria attached to their roots. And then you get the nitrogen, and you also get the benefits of the vitamin B12 that these bacteria produce. Is that what you're referring to? Uh, well, kind of. But my, my, the way I'm eating the beans is I'm fermenting them. That's the way you want to do it. Always want to do it. That way you get a lot of the a lot of the value, a lot of the nutritional value from the beans that you wouldn't get otherwise. You always want to, if you can, sprouting and adding a little bit of water and letting them sit overnight so the, so the, the life force is activated out of the bean, which in, at the end of the day is a seed. That's always the best way to do it. It's kind of it takes a little bit more effort, so, uh, you know, so a lot of folks don't want to take, take some the time to do it. planning ahead of time. Exactly, <laughs> and so a lot of folks don't want to do that, but if you do have time and you want to plan ahead, that is absolutely a better way to do, uh, well, to do I, all I your told veggies. You, I told you I'd gotten the book, The Art of Fermentation, and she explains how to ferment beans and how to use them afterwards, and so I've been doing that. And what are you noticing? Anything? Oh, I, I love it. I just love it. It's, do you I notice mean, more energy or any changes in blood pressure or anything like that? Well, I, I more don't filling. Think I, Are they more satisfying for you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I can go longer with without being hungry again. That's that what you're looking thing. for. That's what you're uh, looking for. Because you know, exactly. there's, there's, uh, I guess there's no, no sugar in there. I don't know about beans as far as uh, being like. Uh, like a starch or anything. Yes, I don't know if- they do have sugars in them, complex sugars, but those complex sugars are burnt up or used up as you're sprouting. So you get. Well, they're not one- sprouted. They're not sprouted. They're dried beans okay. that are soaked. Okay. And then 
then ground up and fermented that way. Ah, I see. So you're not actually spraying. But even still, the fermentation process, the bacteria involved in there are going to burn up those starches and sugars. They're going to use those sugars and produce nutrients. And so instead of sugars, you'll get nutritional value. And that's one of the advantages to fermenting. Does that make sense okay. how I explain that? Yeah, the ba- yeah the absolutely. The bacteria turn the sugar into B vitamins and other protein and other ah, nutrients. Yeah, so okay. instead of the starches, which is really what causes the problems with beans, those complex sugars, now you're getting those sugars are transformed into usable nutrients by the magic of bacteria, the magic of bacterial process. And it is okay. really magical. All okay, right. Okay. Now, my my main question, and this is what I really called about. Okay. Can you explain how you should uh, take digestive enzymes and HCL? How you should take them with food? Yeah. I mean, can, you know, um, my um, can does the HCL yeah kill the digestive enzymes? No. No, the HCL activates the digestive enzymes. Enzymes are activated by acid. Digestive enzymes are turned on by acid. Ordinarily, that would happen in your stomach. You you would eat foods that contain digestive enzymes. The hydrochloric acid in your stomach would activate them. If you do supplemental enzymes, then you want to make sure that either you're producing enough acid in your stomach, which many people don't, or you're using a little apple cider vinegar, or you're taking a digestive enzyme product like the Ultimate Enzymes that has HCL in it. You can also take extra HCL, or you can have a a physician or write a prescription and a pharmacist compound HCL drops for you. But acidification, lowering the pH of your digestive juices with the digestive enzymes you're taking, activates the enzymes. Well, now, don't you have, I mean, when you eat vegetables, aren't they broken up by the alkalinity as opposed to the acidity? No, 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 no. Where are you getting that from? There's no alkalinity. Oh, I don't know. I'm <laughs> no, <laughs> they're broken up by acid. Out. No, acid, 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 acid. Acid in the stomach. The blood should be alkaline. The liquid, the fluids in your body should be alkaline. But digestive juices need to be acidic to do their work. Okay. okay. Thank you, okay, Mary. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. All right, we'll get your phone calls. Uh, if you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. And we do have a couple lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Did you know every woman will layer on 14 pounds of toxins in use of cosmetics alone? Unfortunately, top brands women rely on to look their best may be hiding harsh chemicals that have been linked to cancer, organ failure, and birth defects. Longevity Minerals, an all-natural beauty line that heals your skin from the inside out. Try it today at www.morethanhighheels.com. That's www.morethanhighheels.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Do good people ever want to call an attorney just to find out if they're right or wrong? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what are you forced to think about first? Money. If you could call as often as you wanted and talk as long as you need without a bill, would you call? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. 
Results will vary from case to case. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. The Freeze Dry Guy presents Freeze Dry Turkey, Freeze Dried Ham, and the No Bake Casserole Unit February Sale. Listen, if you trust the Freeze Dry Guy as thousands have for their emergency food supply since 1970, don't wait to hear how great this deal is because it's unlimited supply. Call 866 404 3663 and ask for our new Turkey and Ham Unit. Normal retail price $359.94, sale price $251.94. You save $108. And it's chock full of high quality, great tasting freeze dried diced turkey and ham from Mountain House. The gold standard and long-term storage products or get the freeze dry guys no bit casserole unit 153 servings per case at normal retail price of 215.94 sale price 172.75 you save 43.19 but supplies are limited and we always pay shipping right to your door within the lower 48 states call 866-404-3663 and make freezedryguy.com a favorite and check for monthly specials don't miss the freeze dry guys february sale call 866-404-3663 or visit freezedryguy.com not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. If you've uh, sent me a Facebook message on my personal Facebook page, I apologize for not getting back to you. Uh, I don't check my personal page that much, but if you if you uh, like my, my skincare page, The Truth With Ben, uh, you'll get quicker quicker response if you put uh, if you send me a message that's the truth with Ben and then you will also post I also post stuff about skincare and will also post information about the truth skincare pro skin health products that will be coming out here in the next couple of weeks that's the truth with Ben that's my Facebook page and if you click like on there I'll have you set up for email uh, email responses and also you'll get information about our new products that should be out here in the next couple of weeks okay John in Texas what's up welcome to the bright side Hello, this is Jean-Pierre. Hello, Jean-Pierre. Au revoir. Yes. What's up? <laughs> How are you, you doing, buddy? Um, I'm doing okay. I'm just calling. I'm trying to figure out. I've been suffering from sleep apnea for a okay. uh, few years now. You want some help with I that? I'd like to know what you reckon. Yes, sir. How old are you, John? Approximately. 60. Well, no, 57. Sorry. 57. Sorry. Okay. Okay, good. Height to weight, approximately. Uh, 6'2", uh, um, uh, 2.20. Okay, good. Sleep apnea, you want to think about inflammation, uh, pressure that's being uh-huh. put on the, the, parts, the, the parts of your nose and your, uh, your windpipe, the areas where you breathe, mostly in the head area. Uh, so you want to think about inflammation, diabetes, blood sugar problems, probably some digestive issues as well. Diabetes, obesity, blood sugar problems are all linked to uh, sleep apnea, and then digestive issues are linked to blood sugar problems. And surprise, surprise, if you've listened to this program, we say it all the time, this is the triangle of disease. And this is the classic cause of all degenerative issues. Sleep apnea is a symptom of a degenerative crisis. The body's breaking down and it's not healing. There's inflammation going on. Whenever you have inflammation, you want to think about something that's getting into the pristine, sacred space of the body, the blood that shouldn't be. And that means the food. That means through foods and, and digestive issues. So first you work on the digestive system. Do everything you need to do to correct digestive problems. Do a food diary, eliminate problem foods. If you know you're constipated or have gas or heartburn or bloating or loose stools or anything, you're ahead of the game. If not, you got to find those symptoms and then link those up to foods and then eliminate those foods. And by the way, for everybody listening, I'm not just talking to John and I'm not just talking sleep apnea. I'm pretty much talking about all degenerative disease symptoms, anything you can name from hypertension to cancer to sleep apnea, whatever, autoimmunity, whatever. Focus on the digestive system, look for problem foods, eliminate those, and then start to patch up the gut with probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, the Fucoidin Z. You can use glutamine powder, whey protein, 
Um, zinc is very important for the digestive system, uh, also for helping make stomach acid, apple cider vinegar after all your meals, anything you can think of to support digestive health and wellness. And then the blood sugar connection, and by the way, once you start working on the blood sugar, you'll notice, you'll notice that you're losing weight, you'll notice that your circulatory symptoms are improving as well, and that means the sweeties, chromium and vanadium, smaller amounts or zero tolerance if you got enough willpower to do that, uh, at least smaller amounts of sweet foods and things that spike your blood sugar. After all sweet foods and, and starchy foods and anything that spikes your blood sugar, use the sweeties, chromium vanadium, use some magnesium, and just something as simple 